Welcome to this update on my American War of Independence collection. In this case, my ongoing project to finish the American side of that collection. Uh, as you can see, it's progressed on a little bit further than last time, uh, and everything in this uh, video has been painted and based. You'll have seen prior to now the uh, Pennsylvania Regiment here at the back with its um, officers and sergeants, and also Hartley's Continental, um, additional Continental Regiment here on the right hand side with their yellow facings. Uh, but since then, I've also finished, first of all, this group of infantry and hunting shirts, uh, which can by, and by the views of skirmishers or light infantry or uh, maybe as additional riflemen, although I do have some metal riflemen to paint as well. Alongside those, I did do some um, metal character figures. So you can see the um, character there that's gesturing towards them in a slightly different coloured hunting shirt. Um, you've got this officer at the back here uh, with his spontoon looking on. Uh, and then an additional officer here with some of the militia that I've just finished painting. Um, so these are um, Metal Perry Miniatures, uh, Northern Firing Line uh, militia figures. Uh, but the chap in the shirt sleeves is actually from, the, I think, the Southern Militia Nervous Firing Line pack. Either way, he is one of a few spare older figures that I had knocking around that I thought I would add as their um, leader, essentially, for sharp practice for two purposes. Um, so he will accompany them. And then the rest of the group is over on this side here. Um, and you can see I've tried to vary their clothing and so on because they're um, going to be militia skirmishers. Um, they are much more time consuming a process to paint in some respects than painting uniforms, which you can do in a orderly and sort of mechanical conveyor belt way. Um, and uh, these castings were not the best that I've worked with before. They're a little bit awkward, a little bit blocky and malformed in places, but they turned out fairly well. They have, however, made me fear uh, painting the two groups of 10 uh, militia, which will be formed militia, uh, that I have waiting, half of which are plastic, half of which are metal. Um, but they came up pretty nicely anyway, and there are some nice sculpts, as you can see. Um, they paint up pretty well. You just have to be kind of patient with them, essentially. And I've given them a variety of different bits of clothing and so on. Um, so that's as far as we've got so far, just as we pan across these guys in their hunting shirts again. But I'm pretty happy with the collection all in all. Um, this has basically got them to uh, five groups with a variety of leaders, which is probably about the size that I'll have a couple of practice games of sharp practice two now um, against my British force, which has got a few more options. I've painted a few more of those, but I will sort of pick five groups and set them up against each other to have a go at the rules. And then once I've done that, I will put up a couple of um, battle reports on the channel as well, um, showcasing the figures in action. Uh, next up on the painting table, I'm actually doing the two uh, flag groups that is basically little fun dioramas for me to do for each collection. I'm currently working on the British colour group, um, which is on the basis of the Royal Welsh Fusiliers command pack um, that Perry do. And then I'll move on to the uh, American version, which is a group in hunting shirts uh, with a Betsy Ross. And then after that, whatever else takes my fancy, essentially. Probably, probably the militia is what I should really do next, but I sort of fear that, so I'll probably get distracted by other projects. Anyway, that's as far as this update goes. Um, once I've got a little more progress on the collection overall, I'll let you know and I'll hopefully post a battle report of Sharp Practice 2 uh, sometime in the near future. In the meantime, I'll see you in the next video and happy hobbying.